Okay. The name of the card is I Shall Triumph. Uh, this is a dramatic scene, so the villains are up. Uh, and then the heroes get to go after that. The uh, task or the uh, appro approved action is defend. Okay. So since the villains get to go first and they are up, uh, this skeletal pirate is going to go underneath. Now, they actually get to move because they've got water flowing through them uh, instead of around them. And I opened up the wrong thing. Uh, so, uh, they get to move six. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have a skeletal pirate moving towards you, but cannot attack you this round because they don't have any ranged gear. Um, and this then... This lock is not working down here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six... You have a skeletal pirate in front of you, but again, uh, the cutlass is just slightly out of range. Now, both of you get to roll a fear check. Whoa! Uh, mm -hmm. Can we use willpower if we have that? Uh, there, yeah. It's either uh, let's see, fear is either willpower or spirit. Spirit. Yep. Okay. Thankfully, dogfight does have an add in willpower. Okay. So. Ooh. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, that's uh, that's not good. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get this up here. Uh, you are very stymied, dogfight. Hang on just a I'll, second, Mo, and I'll get to you. I'll mark that on, on dogfight sheet. Okay, you're going to take care of that? Yeah. Cool, man. Thanks. It's only for this round that you're very stymied. Um, All right. So in in your instance, defense might be a good idea. Uh, and then Mo, you rolled a fifteen. You definitely save. Um, so let's see. The villains were that. Oh 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 oh. I've got one more villain to move. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let me know when I can move forward. <laughs> three. Uh, nope. That's where he's going to end up landing. Okay, so then, um, Mo, since you're already engaged, let's go ahead and, uh, you've already fired off your torpedo pistol, mm -hmm. uh, but that's the villain, so uh, let's take care of Mo first, and then Dogfight, and then Peaches and Chris. Peaches and Chris, uh, you could probably go ahead and give me your maneuver rolls, please. Um, yes, okay. sir. So you guys figure out what you want to do, Mo and Dogfight. Hmm. Uh, I've already got my plan. Okay. Ooh, seventeen. I might have a plan. Uh, you said the Sunblades have some kind of bonus effect against supernaturally evil creatures. Why? Yes, yes, they do. Denial Sunblade is damage strength plus five with a maximum of nineteen versus supernatural creatures, and these are supernatural creatures. Okay, so, uh, mm. Chris, you get an extra meter. Penny, you get to move. <laughs> Would you move me my uh, five in that diagonal where I wanted to go? Somewhere around there. Okay, so let's see. I was afraid she would rolled another one the way that uh, <laughs> dice looks on the screen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <me> yeah, really. <laughs> uh, so I'm you wanted yeah, to move this way? Five, yeah. yeah. Okay, let me mark it with a finger. And then I'll come back and select, and we'll go here. Okay, now you can move your basic movement and still um, uh, be able to do an action. So let's see if, uh, okay. All right, so uh, Mo and Dogfight, between the two of you, who wants to go first? A uh, dogfight can go first. I need to think about my strategy more. Uh, you mean uh, you mean Mo could go first? Yeah, that's what you I are. Dogfight. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot about that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know you guys can't see the card. That's fine. 
trust me, I'm keeping track of it. And when you see the video, you'll know that I was telling the truth. Um, so, Mo, what do you want to do? All right. Mo is going to back up. Okay. One, two, three. Ooh. Now, remember, you could I only. I didn't know Rocket Rangers forward. ran away. Hold, hmm? hold on. Hold on. Uh huh. Give me a second. Uh, you're going to have to stay in this square right here. Why? Uh, because you had to go back across the the, the, beam. Uh, the cross beam. Oh, I thought I never crossed it in the first place. Yes. You know? Yes, you did. So, yeah. So, when you there. were on that side, when you were over yeah. here, you were actually on that side of the beam. Okay. And now right, you crossed over here and that's you're on that side of the beam. Okay. All right. Is that uh, all you now to reload that torpedo pistol, because you can only have one round in at a time, uh, will take you one round to do. Uh yes, I I, oh, I was sorry. gonna try to back up so I could swap over to the to the uh, sun swords. But that'll take two rounds too. So I was trying to put more than Six spaces between me and the monster. Well, now you so can, that it couldn't close. Right. Well, it's going to have the same problem you have mm -hmm. with getting over there. Um, now it's just faster. So, well, yeah, it moves. You know, it moves basically double your speed, but it's still going to have problems getting over that mast. It's mm -hmm. stupid. It doesn't know how to think. Mm -hmm. So it it doesn't know. It's it's going to have to figure it out. It's it's almost like a zombie. Not yeah. quite, but almost. Um, so, yeah. so, so I'm going to be, I'm going to be swapping, I'm going to be swapping weapons. So I've got to make a dex roll. Right now, um, are you trying to keep the torpedo pistol? No, no, uh, keep it as in not throw it away. Right. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Okay. Well, actually, no, because I have got two torpedo pistols with me. Okay. And um, uh, just just for this. Uh, so okay. if I can't find it after this fight, I, I, I will still have one with me. Right. Okay. So here's the deal. Go ahead, uh -huh. and, go ahead and get rid of one of your torpedo pistols. You just drop it into the silt at the bottom mm -hmm. of, of the ocean. Um, and then, uh, make your dex check. Uh, and you can draw that weapon as, as long as you make a good dex check. The base is 10 on that. Uh, and you All can right. draw that next weapon, uh, at the beginning of your turn your next turn all right all right and can i can i draw two sun swords uh not at the same remember what i was saying you've got to use one of your hands to keep okay. you steady ah all right so i don't get my double weapon proficiency that's what i was hoping for but yeah. still need still i'm better at um I'm better at fighting than I am at, uh, at melee fighting than I am at shooting. Well, you're 30 fathoms beneath the waves. Yeah. So it's going to be a hard time. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. No, I did. Uh, uh, um, uh, where'd that go? <laughs> um, okay. So you fall to the. Uh, no, 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 no. Because you've already done your movement. I did fall. Yeah. Uh, um, you've already done your movement this round. Uh, you end up losing the Sunblade. You go to grab Sun after it, and and, uh, and you also lose the... Uh, you will, will not be able to try and draw a new one until next round. All right. But you won't have it in hand. Even if you roll next round, you mm -hmm. won't have it in hand until the following round. So... Yeah, I might wind up in just fisticuffs with them. I'm good at that, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, now, Dogfight, are you still thinking... I've decided on my course of action. Uh, given that Dogfight's strength is not actually super good, he okay. is just going to uh, use his inherent blast ray against the uh, skeleton floating a few feet away. Well, he's not floating. He's definitely grounded. Well, Think Pirates of the Caribbean. Right. Right. Uh, right, it's Jeffrey Rush in front of me. Got it. <laughs> I was actually thinking about the black guy with the dreadlocks hanging down, the funny one. <laughs> Ooh. Well, at least this isn't a mishap. Yeah, it's it's not a mishap. Um, with that uh, penalty of four, do you want to try and throw anything at it? 
I am going to put a possibility into that because he has nine of them right now. Yeah, also... Why um, is he very stymied? Uh, because uh, the fear test. The what? Fear. Yeah, he, he failed ah. his fear test this round. So are you... Okay, you're trying to stick the Sunblade into the into the pirate, right? Uh, no, I'm trying to hit it with my blast ray. With your, Oh, that's right, with your blast ray. Okay, so at least it's not a one or a two. Um... Let me see on dogfight what kind of uh, what kind of limits limitations if anything he has. It's on that. loud and the mishap on one or two, I think. Oh, 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 oh Robert's gonna hate me. Okay, would you stop moving already? Okay, me? so no, 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 no. I'm I'm trying to. Blast Ray, right. limitation, loud and mishap. If there's a mishap, lose the remaining shots until the end of the combat scene. But it is loud. Oh, boy. Um. <laughs> okay, so your Blast Ray. Um, I am going to spend a possibility if it's okay. All right, throw a possibility at that. Um, uh, you can't throw any cards at it right now. Huh? That's odd. Uh, well, I it's tried, oh, you're, not in the initiative. That's why. Yeah. Okay. So hang on a second. Um, let's see. Dogfight should be in the initiative. Add turn. Yeah. Dogfight was in the initiative. Let Aha. See all the way down at the bottom. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of the old. Um, let's see. I'll keep Captain LaFleur there just in case. I'm going to take that one out, that one. I'm going to keep Thuban in there just in case. Let's see, and then, okay, that's the other Peaches. Hang on just a moment. That's the other Mo. that's the other Dogfight. Goodness gracious, we had a lot in there. Okay, so Peaches, Chris, Mo, Dogfight. So, hang on just a second. Uh, your original roll was a three. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're going to do another roll, select your token. Uh, token dogfight is selected. Okay, and then click the possibility. <clears throat> okay. It should automatically yeah. pick up that three. Okay, Stein. There we uh, go. There you go. There you go. So uh, 14, and that's pirate three. Let me open this up. Okay. Pirate three. Uh, let's see. His, his defense or his dodge is a 12. So let's see. You rolled a 14. That is a hit, but it's only a basic hit. So roll your basic damage. All right. Uh, the damage on this is just 15. Yeah, just click the 15. And then the pirate. Ooh. Okay. That kind of takes care of things. Um, so let's see. Wounded was plus one, and of course I can't... Oh, it did allow me to do that. Okay. And then two shock. He, he doesn't do shock. So, let's see. He is wounded. Uh, which is the only... No, he can take one more. That's right. Because he has one wound. So, after the uh, after the one wound, he, will, he would be down. Um, okay. I'm going to need to share these pages. There we go. Skeleton Pirate Crew. Okay. All right. So, got you there. Now, he is still standing, uh, but he needs to make a dex check, and you need to make a dex check. And I'm going to tell you why. The okay. loud property of the, um, uh, of the blast ray actually reverberates as water out from you. So it's almost like an explosion. It goes out to three meters, so nobody but you two are going to be affected. Uh, you need to make a dex check because have you ever oh, been... That's... Hmm? Oh, my mistake. It says through ban, but I did roll that with dogfight sheet. Yeah, no, that's it, that's fine. I see dogfight. Okay. That's all I see. So, it, yeah, you're rolling as through ban, but it's, it's dogfight sheet, so it's good. Um... So let's see. Your result is a six. You are on your knees, 
uh, for the rest of the round, and you can make a dex check at the beginning of next round. If you make your dex check, you can get up and move up to half your movement. Now, the okay. skeletal pirate... Uh, why don't I just have these two open? Two and three. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and open that too. Two, three, come on. You can do this. Okay, so let's get that open. And then close the sheet, close the sheet, close the sheet. That way. Okay, now I have these guys available so that I can easily get to their sheets. So that's three. Let's go ahead and make a maneuver or dex check if it will blow up. Come on, blow up. You can do this. That's a good boy. So maneuver, yeah, it can make a maneuver test. Uh, modifier, it's got one wound already, so that's automatically going to be taken into account. There we go. Okay. It had a result of 12. It stays on its feet. You're in trouble. Um, yep. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait a second. Could I, wait a second. Could I have rolled maneuver instead? Well, that was that's uh, that's what you were supposed to roll maneuver or oh. a dex. Well, well okay. in that case, so how many ads do you have in maneuver? Three. So I don't think it would have changed anything. No, it wouldn't have changed anything because uh, that would have given you a nine, and the target number was a ten. So right. Uh, okay. Uh, I got to do something real quick here. Let's go ahead and add turn for that skeleton. And that one. If I can get it to do what I want it to do. <gasps> That's a good boy. Okay, so Peaches uh, and Chris, both of you have already moved, right? Yes. Okay. Is there... Uh, let's see. Peaches in particular... Yes, you can see... You actually see three skeletal pirates. One of them is, uh, let me get back here, no snapping, and we go this way. One of them is actually down this way, beyond Chris. Uh, Chris, oh, you're going to see it too. And it is moving in towards you. Uh, as a matter of fact, Chris, oh, never mind, you're turned away from it. So you see the two skeletal pirates. Uh Peaches, do you want to warn Chris, whom you see is uh, facing this direction? Yes, yes, I totally will. Um, <laughs> All right. Chris, behind you, uh, towards the ship, there's another one coming. Okay, let me first deal, deal with the one that's closer. Okay. So uh, Well, this round, I'm going to try to help uh, out dogfight also. Okay, you're carrying the Nile Sunblade, so there's. Uh, I'm not certain there's a whole lot you can do at this point. I'm going to use my uh, spear gun on the, you know, Skeleton Pyre 3. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I believe that was missile weapons. And I believe you're correct. <gasps> what? Okay. Result 9. Uh, I'm going to say that's probably a miss because, um, because they have an 11, uh, dodge and you're shooting something at him at range. So, uh, it, it is at range, but it's, wait, is it close range or, or medium? Um, it's at range period. So, uh, it goes against the dodge defense. So, yeah, you, unless you want to throw something at it, you missed. Where did the spear, you know, the harpoon land anyway? Um, roll a d6. Evens is left. Odds is right. And if it's left, dogfight might be in trouble. Okay. So, uh, it went off to the right. Um, and so just kind of disappears into the waves. Yeah, it, it disappeared into the waves somewhere you you could imagine that it hit dirt okay your spear gun has a range of three meters for short seven meters for uh, medium and 15 meters for long it does have five 
arrows to it or five spears to it. Um, it takes one turn to reload, but it's a normal dex test. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Is that is that all of you guys? Yep. It looks like it. Okay. So uh, again, I need to see where kind of everybody is so that I can understand what you see. Okay, Mo, you see Pirate 1 and 3, or Pirate 2 and 3. Um, Dogfight, uh, you're probably myopic right now, seeing only uh, Pirate 3, although you do see some movement out of your, your right window. Well, I can't say what Dogfight thinks, since I don't usually play him. I don't have a handle on his personality yet. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Chris, you only you see Pirate Three, and you can kind of easily see Pirate Two uh, a little bit beyond that, uh, but not with some real definition. Okay, okay. Penny, you see all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well secluded, I see all. Uh -huh. All right then. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Your third let's eye opens. Uh huh. I, I'm oh, I'm I'm gonna move forward. I think. Uh, well, hang yeah, on. Hang on a second. Uh, we're we're still doing the movement thing. Let's see if I can place this card somewhere. You guys should be able to see it. I would hope. No, none of you will be able to see it there. Uh, okay. Heroes uh, are what? The name of the card is "You Give Up Ground." Uh, the villains get to go first, but they are not up. Oh, I forgot to add their ups. Lucky you. Uh, and yeah. then heroes are surge. So, <laughs> oh move. no, mm. no! It's so, always surges. Mm -hmm. So let's see. He can actually one, two, three, and he has to stop right there. Mo, yeah, you have a visitor right next to you. Uh, it's it's easy for you to face off against him, but the only defense that you have is unarmed. Okay, um, so yeah. he's uh, he is going to attack you with a cutlass. And let me get pirate two open first. Uh, where's his cutlass? There it is. He does not have a bonus. Let me wait for the modifier to populate, or else it's going to take forever. Okay, result is seven. What is your unarmed defense? My unarmed defense is seven. Is seven. Okay, defender wins. So he misses. Um, yeah. Uh. Skeletal Pirate 3 moves forward on dogfight. Um, and since he's prone, he gets a bonus of two to hit you. So that's three. And he's slicing at you with his cutlass. If I can get him to scroll down a little bit. There we go. Cutlass. Two. Okay. Could be worse. You could be using the beta primer GM stuff when the void gets to spend possibilities for people. Um, yeah, I don't like doing that either unless I absolutely have to. With this game, it's not very uh, it's not very campaign friendly. So if you've got a long campaign going on, you're going to have players that are that are basically going to be gods when when they're done. Okay, yeah. so that's going to be a result of fourteen. What is your um, melee defense? Uh, Dogfight has a melee weapon skill of nine. No, no, so no. Your, your melee defense towards the upper right, uh, where it says ah. defense is next to oh, status. Nine. You've got a nine. Okay, so that's definitely a hit plus a bonus die. So strength plus three is 12. Oh, I get to choose a target. Yay. Okay. Oh, and it took my... Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. So bonus dice one. Oh, well, I'll just have to add that in. Okay, hold on. The I'll have to roll a d6 because it didn't add it for me individually. So let's see. That is, ooh, so that's five. And seven. 
So let's see. The effect was 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So an 11 is 2 wounds, 4 shock. All right. Uh, Dogfight's going to spend a possibility to soak. Now keep in mind, uh, you can only soak one of those wounds. So here's how it works. Go ahead and, and roll your reality. Uh, spend your possibility. Roll your reality. It's okay. a target number of 10. Ooh. Um, okay. Can you soak any of, those, any of the wounds because of the living uh, Orosh? Well, Orosh um, does not allow him to soak the first wound. Oh, okay. But any additional wounds and stuff like that, he can't. Do you want to throw a card or a possibility at that? I'll like throw you... another possibility on that. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> All right. Okay, that's a little bit better. So that gets you a 14, which is enough to uh, soak. Well, let's see. No, you don't soak in either wound um, because of the Arosh. Uh, world laws, but you do soak your. Um, Actually, what about? Don't you have a house rule when spending a possibility automatically lets you soak a wound? Um, yeah, but I'm trying to determine how that's going to work with the world law here. Um, you're gonna you're gonna keep. Let's see. That's basically like a standard success, but that world law gets in the way, and you only did roll a standard success. I wouldn't have uh, tried to soak if I had known I couldn't soak either of the. Well, I, I mean, you wouldn't have been. You wouldn't have known if you could soak it, uh, even if uh, you know, because it's based on the dice roll. All right. So I, you know what, I'm going to go ahead uh, since this is it, it's a kind of a new factor here. Uh, I'll let you soak the one wound. And uh, all of the uh, all of your possibility or all of your shock that you took from okay. the hit, so that you can only take off four shock. So I still get one wound. You still get one wound out of it. Got it. Okay. So yeah, that that wouldn't be fair, especially uh, if this is Robert's character. We end up getting him killed. Um, now I think is the time when I should play this Cosm card I have. I'll um, put it okay. right next to here. Okay, go ahead. Mark of Terror. Okay, let me kind of size that up so I can read it. I'm about half blind. Play after witnessing some horrible event or creature. Your character gains a physical mark, such as a white streak in his hair, a strangely intense stare, or some other tell. Gain one possibility. Okay, so I want you to work with... Robert on that. Well, you know what? I'm not sure if we should do this without Robert's consent. So maybe we should put that back in my hand. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. So you should be able to run your cursor over the top of it. Your, your, uh, mouse. Yeah, take, I could click take card. Yeah. I, yeah, that's, that's probably a bad idea to do that, but this will teach Robert to be here at the games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's all right. Six possibilities a lot. He'll, I'm sure yeah. it'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Six possibilities is pretty good. So let's see. Um, that's the two villains. Oh, this one gets to move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, do I have any others? Yes. Yes, I do. So hang I on. I still have yet to move. I know. It's not your turn yet. <laughs> Huh. I'm getting there. I promise. Hopefully this fight won't end up uh, going as uh, slowly as the dinosaur fight did. One, two, three, All four, right. five, six. I remember okay. one particular shining moment where I actually stood in the head of a T-Rex and killed that sucker by blowing its head off. Uh, you didn't kill right. it. You just knocked it unconscious. Or, yeah, basically knocked it unconscious. Yep. So... But it, it, mouth. <laughs> that was really cool, though. That was really cool. Okay, so um, let me get open five here, since there are now five of them out on the board. Or I'm, yeah, I think. <laughs> I can't count. No, there's only four of them out on the board. Okay, so um, 
That's all the villains. Okay, Peaches. Yay. I, I want you to go first. Okay, <laughs> because you've, you've, you've had such a difficult time getting around. All right. Oh, I forgot to do Wait, something. Wait, what about that surge? Uh, well, uh, we'll do the surge in, you know what, we'll do the surge in a minute. Uh, that was a nice roll. Uh, thank you for the reminder. We'll go ahead and roll that here in just a moment. Before you move peaches, everybody give yes. me a surge roll. Just a d20, That's right? A just a regular what? d20. Roll what? Uh, spirit? Uh, no, you're just rolling a d20. Huh. So, okay. So dogfight's going to be okay. Uh, ooh. Okay, so let's see. Your core earth are in a mixed zone. It's a penalty of four, so... Peaches, um... You're gonna hate me. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, probably. So hang on, let's deal with that. And Peaches is disconnected. And the then two. let's see, Captain. I think this is a Can I play this? Second chance. You absolutely may. Go ahead. <laughs> Seventeen. Go. That's much better. Okay. So let me remove that disconnection from you. And Chris, do you have anything you could play? That might help you out. What the hell? Get well, back. plus three help. Uh, yeah, so plus three would be would be all right. And that was the card I had in my uh, and there pool. Okay, but I haven't been adding cards to my pool. You know what? That'll work. We'll just leave it. Um, let's see. Each of you should have one card in your pool already. Uh, mm -hmm. See, I just made Ginger a bunch of mistakes. Ginger should add two. I, yeah, Ginger should have two. Yeah. I just made huge mistakes all the way around, and you know what? Screw it. Um, we're just going to drive <laughs> on. Okay, so let's see. Peaches, you already rolled your maneuver, so you get to move uh, first. You don't get any uh, bonus movement, but you at least get to move your basic stuff. Right. Uh, could you please move me diagonal towards Chris? Towards Chris. Okay. So let's see. Let me let me see if I can get a placement here. Okay. And, so uh, let's see. How, how is Doug Flint doing? Does he look like he's winning or losing? Who, who did who did what? Is how is Dogfight doing? Um uh, Dogfight has a nasty gash, but other than that, he alls. Well, yeah, we're gonna deal okay. with that in a minute. Uh because the nasty gash has something else to do with it. Okay, right at the tip of my, and then, okay, we're gonna we're gonna deal with movement first. Um, we dealt with surges. Chris is discoed. Oh no, Chris is not discoed. He played that card, which I allowed. That's my fault. Uh, Sunblade, move this here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Dogfight will get a chance to roll. Uh, Mo is doing well. What the hell was I doing? Um, I forgot what I was doing. Let's see. Let me go through this again. Peaches moves first. You guys did the 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 um, surge, so that leaves Mo, uh -huh. Dogfight, and Chris to move. Uh, well, to act. I should say to act. You don't necessarily have to move, but act. Okay. Oh, and uh, I forgot don't... to do something at the end of last turn. This is my fault again. Uh, uh, so, dogfight, what were you doing? Uh, dogfight uh, dog can go after the others, because I have a card in my pool that may benefit if you guys play cards as well. Okay. okay. I have a master plan card, is what I'm saying, in my pool. Well, I'm trying to get something to go right. Oh, come on. Roll 20. Okay, so then Mo and Chris, who between you two wants to go? Uh, 
I am going to cast Ward Enemies when I get my chance. Okay. Um, and, uh, that might benefit everybody who goes after me. Okay. Now, so... Well, that, that'll benefit everybody next turn. So, because it, 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 it'll... Uh, these are supernatural creatures, so it, it will increase our defense. Okay. Uh, let's see. Save changes. Okay. Uh, the light from inside the hull of the vessel, which none of you can really... Well, Chris might... No, Chris is kind of aimed the other way. Um, so let's see. Control L. I want to make sure... Nope. Chris has turned around now. So uh, you can kind of see some kind of a machine inside what used to be the hold of this vessel. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's see. <sighs> Between Mo and Chris, who wants to go first? Uh, I'll go ahead and cast my ward enemies. Okay. Cast your ward enemy. Um, right. I've forgotten what the target on that thing is. Mm, target's 10. Okay. So go ahead and cast it. Mm. So I'm up to a 19. Ooh. Okay. Hang on just a minute. You've got Ward Enemy. Spirit spirit's my jam. Uh, yeah. So let's see. Okay, so you have... All right. So the the base is a, or the yeah the base is a ten. That's a nine. Uh, that's going to get you a plus two to your defenses, uh, mm -hmm. to all of your defenses. I welcome you to add that in the defenses area for uh, right. dodge and unarmed. Also, um, and then Chris. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. I was hoping to get just a little bit better so that it would give um. Everybody within five meters. Well, bonus. here's here's where the problem comes in. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Come on, give me my arrow. Uh, I'm pretty sure that. Uh, I'm okay. pretty sure the dog dogfight would be within range. So dogfight. Oh, okay. You get. Well, to, it only works if I get one more level. It only works if I get one more level of success. Am I at outstanding? I thought I was only at good. Uh, let's see. You had nine over. Uh, so that's five. Yeah, you're right. You're only at good, so that gives you a plus one, not a plus uh, two. No, it gives it gives me a plus two, but it doesn't give. Um, uh, it it doesn't give it out to five meters. Okay, let me. So we only get plus one. Uh, no, no. Uh, if it doesn't, uh, if it doesn't stretch out where, where well, he needs minute. it to go, it's got it, it's got a five meter range. Let me if, let me pull it up again, because if, uh, if you have a standard success plus one to all defenses versus supernaturally evil creatures for all all allies within five meters, if it's a good success as with standard, but plus two to defenses, so dogfight also gets plus two to all of his defenses. Oh, okay. So Mo, you and dogfight get the plus two for three rounds. Or wait a minute, mm -hmm. hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to do too many things at once as usual. I need to open your sheet all the way so that I can actually see it. There we go. Come on. Uh <laughs> one action. Wait a minute. Hold on. It doesn't say the duration. I thought the duration was hang on a second. So the duration on ward enemy should be Gear, magic, miracle. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. So if I had hit, if I had hit outstanding, it would have also added stymied to the to the bad guys. Okay. Okay. So the way it works, um, and you can read on your character sheet. I just updated your duration. It's based on concentration. So your ward enemy um, is up as long as you concentrate. Now, 
Mm-hmm. If you uh, go to make any checks, and that includes your dex checks for movement and for getting out new items, you have a penalty of two. As long as you're concentrating on that. If you decide to drop the ward enemy, uh, you'll get obviously get back those two. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, and if you cast, uh, cast or invoke anything else, uh, uh, the casting or invocation... Uh, invocation for you is is going to be a penalty of two to to invoke it, and then with the new one, if that if that's also concentration, and you keep that one up, that's a a penalty of four instead. Mm-hmm. So okay, so you've got that. Yes. All right. Okay, I'm kind of lost here. Um, Chris or I are up next, I think. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, Chris or you. Chris, I, I, I apologize about continually uh, interrupting you. I was kind of wondering, can I use my telekinesis to push the, you know, the skeleton pirate away or like take off his head or something like that? Uh, you won't be able to take off his head unless you uh, wound him somehow. So let's see. Can telekinesis uh, telekinesis can be used underwater that's a psychic thing you're moving air or you're moving water you're not moving yourself necessarily you can move yourself but uh okay yeah i c- can't i also mo- move other people or something like that uh you can move other things yeah and people come on uh, okay there we go so telekinesis if i can get that to scroll down and open up let's see you can throw things with telekinesis. Uh, let's see. The range is 50 meters and add plus two to the power's effective strength. Um, so your effective strength is based on your mind. Okay, you have a mind of 10. 10. So that's that's pretty nice. 10 allows you to move up to 100 pounds. Um... Let's get a roll on this. Let's let's do something interesting with this. Okay, so just roll telekinesis. Yeah, roll your telekinesis. Uh, it's got an easy target number of eight, but you you may get better out of it. Okay, and submit. Okay, I want the sign spending a possibility. Okay. Uh, do you have any car- uh, cards in your pool that you can use? No. Okay, so go ahead and throw a possibility at it. There we go. Okay. All right, 21. That's pretty nice, especially considering your target number is only an 8. So that's uh, 18. Uh, so that's 10. <laughs> uh Hmm. Okay, so that's going to... I'm going to make that... Let's see, that would be an outstanding success right there. So that's going to be a 50-meter range and plus 2 to effective strength, plus 3 to effective strength. So that's 13, which means that you can uh, move 400 pounds. Now, this could be interesting. Uh, I mean, I can get a lot of force behind it. Yeah, and it's a 25-meter range, right? Yeah, uh, usually. Usually? Yeah, because it can grow in range with, you know, uh, after it gets excessive, it becomes 50, and then outstanding, you know, still 50 plus 4 to, you know, powers effective strength. Right. Okay, so um, here's what we're going to do. Do okay. This marker is, is it says it's drowning. I'm going to use it as the knockdown marker. I don't know why I haven't put in the new marker yet. Okay. Uh, also, stymie minus four and open up. Come on, stymie minus four. Now, this is only for the round. Um, so that's what four and five. Okay, so stymie one, two. Come on. 
Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Come on, that's a good boy. Come on. <laughs> there we go. I got that one. And then let's get five up. Oh, I haven't even done anything with him yet. So. Okay. I need to get a faster internet connection. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Close. Don't we all? If you're using Wi-Fi, I'd recommend using Ethernet if possible. Well, you know what? I've I've got an Ethernet cable that might actually do some good. I just have to find it. Where did I put it? Let me close four here. Okay. Uh, now these guys are also blown away a little bit. All right. So what happened was you put out the telekinesis and the power of the water was caught up in the telekinesis, the path of the telekinesis, and it pushed these guys away from you and knocked them down. Um, they will be able to get up on this next turn, uh, and unless somebody attacks them, uh, will be able to get rid of their uh, very stymie and start moving forward again. So, it's coming up on my turn. Am I still very stymied? Uh, you are, until the end of your turn. I see. Yeah. In that case, I will... Uh, because I don't want to get, I need to make some kind of check in order to get up, right? Um, yeah, you'll, you'll, yeah, you'll need to do that. And we also need to determine what's going on with your suit. Okay. okay. So let, let's see something, a character, let's see. Though these suits are segmented and self-sealing, a section may be punctured if the character takes a wound with an outstanding success. And that was an outstanding success because you, you, uh, took two wounds. Uh, from it, granting an additional minus one to dexterity and strength-based rolls. So uh, I have minus two instead of minus one now. On both dex and strength. Joy. Yeah, I know. If you need to, you can always get out of the fight. I didn't realize that was an option. Yep. You've got rocket boots, remember? Right. Right. Uh, all right, so... So now that I've taken care of uh, the uh, de the uh, further debuffing, I need to make a maneuver check to get my ass up, right? Yes. Okay. Let's see how that goes then. Ooh. Nope. Um, you want to put anything to it? Any uh, any cards in your pool or a possibility? Can I still can I still attack this guy if I am down on the ground? Uh, you can, and at n at no penalty beyond what you already have. I'm just going to go stay on the floor and uh, hit this guy then. Okay. Are, are you just trying to punch him? Are you trying to hit him with the blast ray? I do have this sunblade in my hand. Uh, yeah, that's true. That the blast ray might be better because that deals more damage. So I'm going to go with that. Okay. Isn't that what got you into this mess? Probably. I don't know what the sunk cost fallacy is. <laughs> <laughs> oh! What? Okay, so oh, stymied no. is minus four, wounded is minus one. Roll of two. Um, let's see. The okay, sunblade is the sunblade is not above your uh your axiom. Not the sunblade though. It's the blast ray. Oh well, yeah, that's not above your axiom. So. Uh, it's a one case, so you do not disconnect. Um, uh, but that's a mishap, so all my ammo goes no, by. It's not a mishap. Oh, oh wait a minute. Not? For you, it is. A roll of one or two. Uh, no, yours is a mishap only, so that's a roll of one. So you don't have a mishap. Okay. Let me let me let me study your sheet just just in case. Because uh, I recommended this one to Robert, and, and he kind of liked it. So let me take a look. Move this to the top and expand the sheet. Okay. Uh, let's see.
Uh, let's see. Loud and mishap. Lose remaining shots. Okay, it's only a mishap for him, so only a roll of one. Okay. Okay, you rolled a two, so you're good to go. Um, do you want to throw anything more at this? No. Okay, so the, the blast ray fizzles out. Um, and, oh, but a roll of one or two opens your suit even further. Uh, you, you've already got, but it's not a wound, so it's not that big of a deal. You can no longer use, well, the blast ray is actually a part of dogfight, so he would still be able to use it. Okay, anyway, here's what's going on. You begin to drown in a number of rounds equal to your strength, minus five. That's your unmodified strength, minus five. Uh, unless you use emergency escape rockets to propel yourself immediately to the surface. I see. So, dogfight's um, strength is a what? Six. Six? You're kidding me. <laughs> okay. No. So next round... You need to go have, now! Yeah, next round you would have to begin making strength tests. Can I just declare that I use the rocket boots now? Uh, yeah, you can use the rocket boots now and uh, and get out of the you know get out of the water. In the interest of not letting another player character die, uh, who who I'm not supposed to be controlling die, <laughs> I'm gonna get the hell out of dodge. Okay, now you're not done, but it's gonna take a few minutes to get there, and I'm gonna deal with it at the end of this round. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, dogfights right there. You use the rocket boots and it's going to take probably three or four rounds for you to get back up, uh, all the way oh, to no, the and he's drowning. top. <laughs> so Gamer X is out of there. I guess he. I guess he says something about I tried my best or something. <laughs> well, we only had ten suits. He can only can go get another one and join us. Yeah, but it would take him probably until the end of the combat to get into it, and then it yeah, would take him another cool. thirty minutes to get down to the bottom. We might need to resort to Thank Plan you. B for Thuban. <laughs> um, actually, that's what I'm going to get to here in a, a few minutes. No, I'm not going to delete Dogfight's token. Uh, I'm going to move it out of the way down here and move it to a different layer. I'll move it to the GM's layer. Chris has gone. Mo has gone. Peaches, you moved, but did you go? Uh, no, no, I did not. Well, there's, I don't see there's a whole lot you can do. I was trying to get up to where I could help, but... Uh... You have a, a limited amount of movement that you can do. Yeah, I've I've moved and and that's it. So, Peaches, yeah. we're already a man down. Go <laughs> for the go for the glow. See if you can disrupt it. I think what you just saw is dogfight slip blast blast his blast a skeleton slip on his ass and then just get stabbed twenty times in a second. Oh <laughs> dear, like a pin cushion. <laughs> Dogfight the human pincushion! <laughs> okay, so, uh, Peaches, do you have anything that you think you want to do? Uh, the, just continue to maneuver towards the, the light. Um, okay. Back up if I can. I have my sun blade in my hand, so I can't reach that pirate that stabbed poor Dogfight. Mm -hmm. uh, but I did see Dogfight blast off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, um, the, the, the sea floor was lit. Um, for about a hundred yards all the way around, and and you heard the rumble of the boots against not only the 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 rocks and the sand and the silt and everything that's down at the bottom, but against the uh, cross beams from the forward mast of the ship. It didn't make a wow. smoke screen, did it? No, it did not make uh, a smoke screen. Uh, hey, damn it. <laughs> the silt uh, should be everywhere, man. <laughs> well, the silt. Well, okay, yeah, you got a point there. Uh, <laughs> but here's here's the problem. Um, uh, all of you are already at a minus four because it's kind of dim down here. Uh, 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 so if you're trying to hit anybody at range, it, that's going to cause problems. The silt storm 
that is going to last. Uh, somebody, well, I can roll a d6. Hang on. Uh, roll a d6. Roll a d6. No, 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 no. Oh, it's only going to last one, one round. So it's not that bad. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not even going to worry about it. It will last all of next round and then it will go away. Um, let's see. So all of you are done, right? You did the search mm -hmm. and everything yes. like that. Okay. So let me uh, deal real quick with uh, Thuban. Thuban sees the, if, if, if you look out the, the window, uh, the, the big cupola window in the seaplane, mm -hmm. you see on the horizon, uh, there is, and it's more, it, it was morning when you guys landed. So it's, it's, uh, it's probably, well, it's still, it's probably late morning by now. You see kind of a flatbed boat coming in your direction and further behind that, you see uh, the tender that you guys stopped at to refuel. Okay. It's coming toward us? It's coming towards you. Okay, but it, it's it's a ways off yet. Um, now, um, I am there fast. <laughs> the, uh, the shark, um, well, you think it's the tender that, that was uh, doing things you know, refueled you guys last night. Uh, and actually it was kind of in the early morning hours. So it wasn't that far away anyway. Um, looking, continuing to kind of look outside, feel your way outside. You feel the thrashing of a great white shark against the right pontoon of, of the, uh, the seaplane. What do you want to do? The thrash is it like the dying throw thrashing, or is it just trying to break its way in and eat it, us? Yeah, uh, it looks like it's trying to get loose because the pontoon is actually about uh, four meters away from the hull of the seaplane itself. Oh, you'd make a good servant here, and I try and murder it. Okay, let me stop you for a second. Okay, so you want to murder it? And then raise it. Okay. How are you going to murder it? Uh, now, wait a minute. What we're going to do is we're going to go into rounds. Or, or not go into rounds. We're going to continue into rounds. And, and we'll figure it out that way. On your round, you'll be able to, to moitalize it the way you want to. Okay. Okay, so let me draw the next card. Okay, come on. The battle is mine. Uh, is the name of the card. Approved actions are defend and trick. Uh, since it's a dramatic round, uh, the villains get to go first, and they are inspired, which means that they get to... Well, they it doesn't mean anything to them, because that just means they get to recover two shock, and they're not affected by shock. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and move them. Mo, you're going to be first... And the the pirate really doesn't have to do all that much. So that's two. Let me get that character sheet open so I can roll. Wow, that one came up quick. Can Maybe things it, are loosening up. Active defense. What's uh, the approved action here? Uh, you may make an active defense declared at the beginning of the round. Uh, a defend and um, trick are the approved actions. I see. So if you want to go ahead and, and, uh, now don't forget, uh, well, <sighs> let's see, this is just a straight defense for you. So you don't take a penalty for this. You're just rolling for defense. So click mm -hmm. on the defense button at, uh, uh, at the top of the defense box and let's see what kind of, okay. So you get a plus one, a further plus one to all defenses. So you're currently at a plus three. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so let me get Skeletal Pirate 2 open again. And he's going to slash at you with his Cutlass. And you are you should already have those modifiers put in, right? I do. Okay, uh, so let's see. Any other modifiers I need to think of? He's... This combat would be going a lot better for us if Thuban were there in person to command undead. 
Um, certainly. Except you would have to beat... Oh, I'm just going to say it. You would have to beat Jibberfats. Um, uh, uh-huh. His... I figure he was still around. No, he's not still around. But oh. he's the one who did put these guys to work. Remember, with a skeleton, you can raise them, and then they, uh, uh, they're there for 24 hours. Right. Okay, come on. Are you going to roll? There we go. Oh, he's sucking. Okay, so let's see. Your your defense is... Uh, your unarmed Ten. defense is what? Ten? And that includes Ten. everything? Yes. <laughs> okay, so he...